Hi everyone, it's Ben with Beyond the Toolbox. Today we're going to be doing a little bit of math, a little drawing, and some Lego building. And we're going to take a look at a really interesting pattern of numbers called the Fibonacci sequence. And we're going to learn how this sequence relates to the growth of living things all around us. So let's take a closer look. The Fibonacci sequence is a pattern of numbers that grows in an interesting way. So if we start with the number zero, and we go to the number one, every number next in the pattern is made by adding up the previous two numbers. So zero plus one gives you one again. One plus one is two. Two plus one is three. Now it jumps to five. Five plus three is eight. And I think you can get the idea of how this is created, and it can go on and on and on. Now let's take a look at how this pattern is found in the world around us. Now we're going to try a little drawing project. We're going to draw a tree. I need you to get some paper and pick two different pens, colored pencils, crayons, whatever, that are two different colors. And we're going to have a game with these. These are going to be the branches of the tree. And what's going to happen is every time you draw a branch, we're going to pretend that one is younger growth and one is older growth. Now the younger growth, when it grows further, it basically turns into older growth. The older growth, because it's older, it has the power to split into two. So that's how the game is going to go. So let's start our tree. I'm going to draw a ground level here. And remember the rules for the two colors. Orange will continue to grow, blue will branch. So you can see it's starting to look like an interesting tree drawing. And we can see if we can find the Fibonacci sequence in here. If I look maybe at the bottom starting with zero, and I'm looking at every level of drawing that I do. Here there's only one branch, here one again, then at the next level there's two as it branches, the next level after that is three, and as it goes up, five, and eight. And what should the next level be? Five plus eight? Thirteen. Let's do one more level and see if that holds true. All right, let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Now, if you look outside at a tree, not every tree will have this exact pattern. But in general, branches need to mature before they can split. And so you will find roughly the Fibonacci sequence in the growth of a tree. Now, if we want to build this sequence, you can build a tree branch by simply using one by plates and you can branch them out by putting just one stud on one stud like this and then make it a little stronger by putting another plate here and overlapping on the top and this creates kind of a hinge shape and you can see here I used that same shape and built a Fibonacci tree and you can see from the side I kind of built up these one by plates as it branched out and went up the side and here we can see the same pattern one one, two, three, five across here, and at the top, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, our Fibonacci Lego tree. So now let's do another drawing project, and this is gonna be a Fibonacci spiral. And this is how seashells grow for snail shells. So I've got graph paper because I can use these squares to count them, and I'm gonna basically go in my Fibonacci pattern, but I'm gonna go and wrap around as I extend out. So I'm going to start with a one right here, one box, then I'm going to go down one box, one plus one is two, two plus one is three, then onward. So now you can see I have my spiral with every length that grows being the sum of the previous two lengths. And if I give it a nice little curve like this, 
here is our Fibonacci spiral. So here is a Fibonacci spiral built out of Lego. You can see that the base plate works really well like the graph paper because you can just count the studs and follow the Fibonacci sequence around. So if we look at it again here, you can see it. There's a one here, one across there, two, three, five, eight, 13, 21 studs along here, 34, and 55 across the top. And to make this spiral really come to life, I tried to build some little slopes out of plates and different slope pieces that fit around the edge. So there you have it, a rainbow Fibonacci spiral. So I hope you enjoyed learning a little something about the Fibonacci sequence and how exciting it can be to take a look at patterns through math and drawing and building things and find connections in the world that were always there but maybe you weren't aware of before. So stay curious, keep creating things, and if you make anything interesting connected to the Fibonacci sequence, I would love to see it. So please share it with the hashtag beyondthetoolbox. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.